For my first time software engineering interns out there, this is for you. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Maddie, and if you're new here, I'm a senior software engineer who did six internships back at university. Today, we're chatting about how to make the most of your first software engineering internship and what I wish I did during that internship. As someone who's been through the intern trenches, I have worked at my fair share of big tech companies, including IBM, Amazon, and Microsoft. I've seen firsthand what sets successful interns apart. And let me tell you, your first internship is huge. It's not just about getting that sweet return offer, though that's definitely a nice bonus. It's about learning, growing, and setting yourself up for an amazing career in tech, and it's a great stepping stone. Your first internship is your chance to translate all of those theoretical concepts that you learned in class into practical skills. So let's get into the five key things I wish I knew when starting in my first internship. My first piece of advice is to set clear expectations from day one. I know it sounds simple, but you'd be surprised at how many interns just jump into it without really understanding what's expected of them. When you first meet your manager, don't be shy. Ask them directly and clearly, what are the key objectives for my project? What does success look like for me as an intern this summer? What skills are you hoping I'll develop? This isn't about being officially graded. It's more about making sure that you're going into the right direction and figuring out what is expected of you. Some companies really handhold their interns as totally fine, while others expect them to be a bit more independent. Also, it's not just about what the company expects. Think about what you want to get out of the internship. Do you want to master a specific programming language or new framework, uh, build a cool feature end to end, grow your network in a specific area? Having these personal goals in mind from the start will act as your compass throughout your internship. I would recommend writing them down. This keeps you personally accountable and focused and ensures that you're proactively shaping your experience to meet your own aspirations. I really only started writing my goals down during my third internship and in retrospect, I really wish I'd done that earlier. Tip number two builds directly on tip number one. Be proactive with your communication and seek feedback frequently. This goes beyond just those initial expectations. This is about establishing an ongoing dialogue. Set up a consistent check-in with your manager. I'd recommend at least a weekly one-on-one. -on -one. Your manager should set this up for you, but if they don't, be sure to request it. This isn't just for them to check on your technical process. It's also your opportunity to get constructive feedback. Actively ask them things like, how am I doing so far? Is there anything specific I could be doing differently or better to contribute more effectively? Are there any areas in which I'm falling short and can improve? This shows incredible initiative and a genuine desire to be a good intern. Managers love this level of proactivity and openness. And here's a pro tip for asking technical questions. Don't don't just say, I'm stuck. That's not really helpful. Instead, try this more effective approach. I've been working on insert-specific problem and I've already tried X, Y, and Z solutions. I'm currently stuck on this error message. Do you have any suggestions on a different approach or perhaps a resource I should look at? This demonstrates that you've put in the effort into debugging and thinking critically about the problem and you're just looking for a nudge in the right direction. Remember, you're an intern, so you're not expected to know everything, but you are expected to be resourceful, put in effort, and learn quickly. Embracing questions and seeking feedback is what you should do as an intern and also as a full-time software engineer. My third piece of advice is to network and meet people, not just within your immediate team. The primary purpose of an internship is to learn technical skills, but it's also so important to get to know other people. I'm still very close professionally and personally with some of the intern cohort and full-time software engineers from other teams during my past internships, and it's been years since I've been in an internship. I know coffee chats aren't everyone's cup of tea, but they're important. Make it a point to reach out to people in different roles, on different teams, or even in different departments. Learn about their career paths, their projects, what they enjoy about the work, and what challenges they face. This helps you understand the broader company culture, exposes you to different career trajectories, and even uncovers potential future opportunities you might not have known existed. You can find people to talk to through your company's internal directory, LinkedIn, or by simply asking your teammates and manager for intros. When you reach out, keep it brief and respectful of their time, something like, Hi, Bob, I'm an intern on this team, and I'm really interested in learning about your role. Would you be open to a quick 15 minute virtual coffee chat sometime next week? Most people are honestly so happy to chat with curious interns and most people, at least from my personal experience, do make the time to talk to you. This is how you start building a professional network that will serve you well for years to come. Plus, you never know who might be a mentor, a future colleague, or an advocate for you down the line. Stepping out of your immediate team's bubble is critical for truly understanding the company as a whole and the industry. Now for tip number four, document your wins and your learnings as you 
you go. This might sound a bit like tedious homework, but trust me, it's an absolutely invaluable practice that will really pay off. Keep a running log or journal of your internship experience. Detail the projects that you worked on, the challenges you overcame, and especially the impact of your contributions. Even if it's a small bug fix or improving a tiny part of the code base, write it down. Quantify it if you can. For example, increase load time by 10% or resolve X number of critical bugs. This is not only great for tracking your own progress, but also it's super helpful when it's time for your final performance review, or even more importantly, when you're updating your resume or interviewing for full-time roles. When you do this, you'll have concrete examples ready to go, making it so much easier to showcase your value and contributions. And don't just document the successes. Also make note of what you liked, what you didn't like, what surprised you, and what concerns you might have. That critical reflection process is so important for understanding what kind of roles and companies are truly a good fit for you personally in the long run. If you find yourself disliking certain aspects of the work or sensing a mismatch in culture, that's incredibly important information for your next job search. Knowing what you want and just as importantly, what you don't want will guide you toward making better career decisions after graduation. And it's so much better to intern somewhere and realize you don't want to work there than to find out that you don't want to work there during a full-time job. And finally, my fifth tip, try to secure that return offer. In today's job market, having that return offer in hand gives you a tremendous advantage, even if you don't think that you're going to go back to that company. It provides a safety net and you can use it in negotiations with other companies or simply just have peace of mind knowing that you have a job secure to fall back on. It really puts you in a strong position. To get that offer, you need to be consistently applying all the previous tips. For example, setting clear expectations, communicating effectively, asking questions, and demonstrating your strong work ethic. Enthusiasm is attractive. It shows that you care and really do want to be part of the team. Even if it's not your dream job, a positive attitude can go such a long way. So make sure that you're consistently showing up to do your best and engaging meaningfully with your team. So those are my five tips for crushing your first software engineering internship. To quickly recap, tip one, set clear expectations. Tip two, be proactive with communication feedback. Tip three, network not just with your immediate team. Tip four, document your wins and learnings. And tip five, get that return offer. Above all though, remember that's just your first experience. Rather than focusing on trying to understand everything technically, embrace the learning process, be curious, and make connections. The experience, skills, and network that you build this summer will be invaluable for your entire career journey. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe for more tech content. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other advice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.